Welcome to Travel About everybody and welcome to Antelope Valley RV Park in Delta, Utah. Today we're going to do a little walk around and have a little tour. This is the main office. The folks who own this park live here. If no one's here, just ring the bell. And uh, anyway, since we're at the building, we'll go ahead and show you this. There's a laundry here, coin op. Looks like a dollar to wash and a dollar to dry. There's four of them here. They're pretty clean. Uh, and there's your library. Ten books. <laughs> there's a few dumpsters sitting out here. This is not a huge park. I don't I have not counted the sites. Um, there is a restroom and I think there's a shower in it I've never looked women men lock unlock uh, there's some kind of a code I don't know I don't have the code uh, I'm pretty sure there's a shower in there it's on our paperwork. yeah so I'm pretty sure there is a shower in there Anyway, we're just going to do a quick walk around. This is not very big. It won't take long. Um, there's a cabin here, I think. And I think we're parked next to a cabin, too. So as you can see, just about any size can fit in here. There's little pop-ups. And um, we are directly across from a Sinclair. They do have diesel. It's all the way over on the far left side of the building if you get confused, like we did. <laughs> you got to go around the back. You got to go around the back of the Sinclair and then pull forward through those diesel pumps over there. Over on this side of the park, uh, quite a few back ends. These are mostly back ends, to be honest. Uh, they only allow the pull throughs, I think, for three days. So don't expect to be here very long in a pull through site. Uh, more than three days because they won't let you do it they made an exception for us because um, some confusion when we booked we didn't know that and we booked for two solid weeks so they have a reserve uh, a special site <laughs> that they don't book that they let us pull into so we've got to pull through for two weeks but don't expect that that was a special situation anyway we're coming around the uh, the back side here, and we're backed up to uh, farming uh, fields. I don't know what that crop was, but the day we arrived, they were mowing it down. So there was dust and stuff flying everywhere, but that's gone now. You know what? I see hay bales. So I think they were just uh, I think they were just making hay out there. So what is there to do here in Delta? Not a whole lot. There's a couple of museums down on Main Street. Uh, Main Street is very small. You can walk it if you want to. Actually, from here, you can walk to Main Street if you wanted to. It's not that far. Um, it's an old town. It's pretty nice. Old buildings, old grocery stores, stuff like that. So This is basically a farming community. Uh, this is us here in the big uh, alliance with the black truck. And we're parked next to one of those buildings. Uh, little, I, what are they called? Just a cabin, I guess. There's nobody in it. But, uh, there's been people coming and going like every other day. A lot of people do short stays here because there isn't a whole lot to do. This is kind of like a stopover point. So this is pretty much it, guys. Uh, we've already come all the way around to the other side. It's another cabin there. I don't know how much those cabins cost. Got a feeling they're not too expensive. Do a little tree trimming over there. Oh, they're burning. 
Well, that's easier than hauling it out, I guess. Anyway, coming on back around, the building's back in front of us again, and that's it. That is the whole tour of Antelope Valley RV. Uh, they've got some of those, um, what do you call them, work hosts or whatever here. So it's, it's a few people, like the lady who's raking over there. She, uh, they live here, and they exchange, you know, rent for work. You know, we find that in almost every park. It's a big trucking company over there. Oh, let me bring that to your attention real quick. Once this truck goes by. So look guys, if you follow the Garmin address, you won't come here. Uh, there's something about this road they did a long time ago and the post office didn't update the address or something. So here's, I'm going to just show you right now and save you a whole lot of grief. If you follow the Garmin address, you're going to be on the road way over there where that greenish building is. Okay, so don't panic because from over there on the road, you can't see this park. So you're going to say, oh my God, where am I? The road just dead ends. I'm lost. Well, you're not. Just go to the end, hang a left, and when you get right to the end right there, I can see the end of the road right there, you'll see the park and you'll know where to come to. So the address that they have uh, won't bring you here <laughs> directly, but don't worry guys, you're, you're just like 500 feet away. It happened to us and apparently from the owner it happens to everybody. So Anyway, that's it. Well, it's a very short video, it's a very small park, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, we've enjoyed our time here. We're here for about another week, I think. Uh, not a whole lot to do. Great place to kick back, relax. Do a whole lot of nothing. See you soon on the next video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave me comments.